Good morning from the bluffs outside of Chico. We have a little bit of an entourage today and some amazing uh, breakfast with uh, Kirk, who is Ned's friend. Ned is still very much asleep. So we'll uh, head out of camp pretty soon, but this spot is, it's nice to share with friends. It's nice. <laughs> My first stop to say is the uh, Abbey of New Clairvaux, which is uh, kind of an interesting little abbey. I've actually never been to a monastery before, so this is a first for me. Um, but basically, it has the sacred stones, and the story behind the sacred stones is super interesting. So the stones themselves began their life in a monastery in Madrid, Spain. From there, Spain outlawed the monasteries, took the land, sold it to a, a family, a very, very wealthy family. The family ended up using the area as like farm storage. It fell, to, fell into disrepair, into ruins. Then a billionaire, um, just before the Great Depression, bought all the stones, brought some of them over in eight freighters to uh, North America, here to California. Went to go build a, a home with them, and then the Great Depression hit, so he collapsed that idea and then sold it to the city of San Francisco, which we're supposed to build it into a museum at the Golden Gate Park. Then the World War II hit, so they didn't do that. And then finally, uh, some, uh, some monks ended up getting it with a grant, and they brought it up here to Vina, California, and they turned it back into a monastery. So uh, it's, all, it's very interesting. It's almost like the stones are cursed and wouldn't allow any of their construction other than in a monastery, so it's kind of cool. I like the story. And I also like how California and kind of the Southwest in general tends to import a lot of culture from Europe and just like literally shipping stones from one end of the world to the other. It's not the first thing I've seen like this. It's very beautiful here though.
absolutely gorgeous. This is uh, the Trinity River that we parked up here, and it's kind of flooded its banks. It's pretty, pretty popping. It's like 3,000 feet up in elevation. So we climbed up a little bit. It's a little bit cooler, but oh my god, it's just gorgeous. Getting into the forest, I'm so excited to see the giant redwoods. Anyway, there must be fish in here because uh, Champ is doing a little fishing. <laughs> He's having fun. Hey champ, did you catch us a dinner? What did you catch? Is it a, is it a stick? Did you catch us a stick for dinner? That's uh, it's not a very nice fish. I, 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 how am I supposed to cook with it if you keep eating it? Hey, just like a little mushroom. Gentle. Thank you. I really like having. You just spit that at me? It's delicious. I guess it doesn't like mushrooms. I really like having views like this when I'm cooking. I love having this cooking board back, uh, the cutting board. This is lovely. It's a real change of pace. I can't wait to see more of this. Next few days, giant redwoods, big forests. It's gonna be beautiful. Tonight I'm just doing a little pasta, the basil, tomato, mushroom, sausage uh, kind of sauce. And uh, yeah, just gonna enjoy the beautiful forest and the sound of the river. Good night. <music>